So I got asked an interesting question in relation to the Staccato CS versus the Glock 26. Weight, which sort of self-evident, but uh, I didn't know exactly what the numbers were. I'm down here in my kitchen where I weigh everything that I eat. Let's see what happens when I weigh everything I carry. All right, got our scales ready. First up, now this is one that I carry from time to time, but these are, and all of these guns are loaded. So, just so you know, this is what it feels like when I carry them. So, the Staccato C2 Limited, coming in at two pounds, five ounces. Staccato CS, loaded. two pounds, one ounce. And just for the sake of comparison, the Glock 26 in the Terran Tactical Innovations custom carry configuration, and it has a 15 round magazine in it to get it close to what these guns are carrying. One pound, 12 ounces. But that's just sort of a tail of the tape because there's more to the carry gun than how much it weighs, right? So I think there's a very big distinction between easy to carry and easy to manipulate. And then the overall package about, is this a gun that I can train with? Because I'm looking to eliminate and, and just have the one gun. I'm not gonna get rid of the others, but I mean, the one gun that I dedicate most of my training to, that I get most of my reps with, if you know what I'm saying, the one that I'm gonna run and go out the door with most of the time. The one I'm probably going to have on me if uh, things go sort of sideways. So, I've talked about the other considerations. and But here's the thing. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to create in my mind a scenario by which one gun does it all. Which may be pushing it for me. But in the grand scheme of things, I think it is probably something that I can do. Now, the three guns that I have mentioned, the, the three, you know, they, they, it's all going to be based on weight. What does, you know, do I have the stuff to support it? Holsters, magazines, that kind of thing. And accuracy. So we're going to start with the gun that I'm carrying the most right now. And, uh, you know, understand this. In my consideration right now, all of this can go away with one trip to the range. First up, the Glock 26, as it is imagined by Terran Tactical Innovations, combat carry pistol. It is lightweight. Um, with extended mags on it, it is easy to grip, although the stubby grip, I'm not a big fan of not having anything here. I need to have something for the rest of my hand. Um, to that end, you know, I have a plus two, uh, the Terran Tactical plus two is on this one. And then the 15 rounders, the 17 rounders, the 21 rounders, all of those, they all fit in this. I can carry this and carry spare ammo for this. I have plenty of it. Um, this gun, to me, as far as the Glocks are concerned, it, it, it doesn't lose in accuracy because of the short barrel. And the trigger has been massage as much as a Glock trigger is going to be massaged without it being a different trigger. So a very well put together gun by Terran Tactical Innovations. Uh, very worthy of being a carry gun, but can it do it all? And like I said, the range is where it all hangs out. Going up in size. The Staccato CS. A lot of people think this is the gun to beat all guns. It does have, it's not quite as stable when shooting, but it is definitely a staccato. And when I say stable, it does jump a little bit more, just a little bit more. It What they've done to tame it down is actually quite impressive as far as that little gun is concerned. The only problem I have with this is I don't have enough magazines for this. I want enough magazines to be able to take a class with it how many magazines I actually carry with it in a situation where I might have to go to a rifle. 
not really germane on, on any of these guns as far as that goes. It would be nice to have other magazine options. But right now it's proprietary. It is a slimmer magazine. It's a slimmer magazine. The uh, And just to give you an example, this is a this is the CS. And this is the magazine coming out of the C2. And this one is noticeably thicker, although they both hold the same amount of rounds, 16. And then there's the Staccato C2. This is the C2 Limited. Uh, after it gets shot, the top end of it comes off and it goes back to Staccato where it will have a small two-port compensator on there. I talked When I was talking to him, I said, you know, if you had a C2 that was compensated, you would have the perfect, a real gun that could be carried that would shoot like the XC. And they said, well, we already have one of those. It's called the C2 Limited. So, this gun. This gun will hold all of the magazines. It is, in terms of length, it is a little longer at the end of the barrel lug, of course, and then with a compensator on, it's even going to be longer. Um, and you can see the difference in the magwells. This comes with the older style lower, which is fine. I mean, that is something that could be easily fixed. All, both of them have the bump on the grip safety, which makes it really easy to make sure you hit. Uh, dual mounted safeties on the slide. Nothing too big, nothing too fancy. They both have sort of the same, very, very near the same recoil system. The, I don't remember, this is, this may be the Dawson, the guide rod, everything. This is the recoil management system. So, this one is going to shoot better. It's, the thing is, how much better is it going to shoot? Because, as you can see, when I'm going from this gun to this gun, well, in terms of length of slide, there's not that much difference. And in terms of magazine, there, but this, this, is, this weighs 1 pound, 12 ounces, like I showed you. This is the journey I'm on now. I would have shot this past weekend, but I could not because of rain. I had events to go to and a few other things, and I think Mark had an event to go to, so couldn't shoot last weekend. So this weekend coming up, everything, all things being equal, if everything works, I will be out there, and then we'll do the follow-up, and we'll see where this goes. One other thing that I'll be shooting while I'm there, this is the Mitchell Defense GWOT Doc rifle, I think it's called. Um, got the optic on it now. This is the primary arms SLX 1 to 6, 30 millimeter tube. Got a cantilever mount. Carbon fiber. I don't know if you can see this in the light or not. A carbon fiber wrapped barrel. We're going to see how good this thing shoots. I'm very intrigued by this gun. And I've got to get back on the M on the uh, on the AR-15 tip and start shooting these guns more often to get a lot more reps on this. Every time I go to the range, I need to take a take an AR and pull the trigger on it a little bit. It's running the Olight Sigard, which is both a grip and a flashlight. I kind of like the combination. It's not that heavy. Of course, you make a gun that isn't that heavy, then you put about 15 pounds of uh, accessories on it, and it's going to get heavier. I think I'm going to strip. I've already taken off the rear sight and I'm probably going to strip off this uh, front sight and just leave it flat because this reticle, uh, even when it's not on, you can see it. But it does have a powered reticle. So good stuff, good stuff. This is all what's coming up. I'm going to, in addition to everything that I do test, I'm going to start training with the guns that I carry. Because I haven't been doing that. So it's time to get on the stick with that. Because I don't know. I'm, now that I'm in a little bit better shape. I hope that I need to be doing it. If you like this kind of content. And I truly hope that you do. Give me a thumbs up. Maybe subscribe. 
Tell me what you think about these three handguns. Do you have a, do you, anybody want to guess which one I'm going to settle with? Which one I'm going to say is the one that I'm working the most with? Right now, the one I'm carrying the most is this one. And given a few variables, if this shoots as good, well, it might still be this one. So we'll see. We're going to see. We are going to see. I am out of here.